hey what's up guys and welcome to anime king 2 and today i'm going to be giving you part 44 of naruto the god of shinobi remember to get this one to 100 like as usual share this to all of your friends on your social media platform and also go ahead and check out anime king because i posted a new episode of what if naruto was trained to be a mercenary over there so go ahead and enjoy that and i also post a new episode of what if naruto went missing for four years so enjoy that as well and guys on this channel i hate to say it but i posted the last episode of uchiha naruto the sage yes guys the final episode i did it today so go ahead and check it out and say your farewells but soon enough i'll be starting a new what if on this channel so don't worry guys you guys are still going to be getting all lovely what ifs coming your way so thank you all again for your help and your support and remember guys if you're new and this is the first time you hear my voice remember to click that red subscribe button and join the two anime king family and comment down below and tell me if you're new because i'll be replying back to all of you so without further ado let's get straight into this so the last time we left off after the epic war went on Kabuta retreated with Madara as he found Dark Naruto on his way. Dark Naruto then told him to heal him and he will help him. As Kabuta took this at his advantage and healed Dark Naruto so he has another ally on his side so he can crush Naruto. So right now everything is being prepared as the armies are ready to descend on Konoha and destroy it. So Nade was heading back to Konoha when Obito arrived. Obito quickly restrains Nade in chains as she was sent down into the ground. The chains then disappear as she realized that Kakashi was gone. Only thing was left was blood on the tree branch. Naruto then went to the Shigenami with Fu as he wanted answers. He was pissed, people always telling him that he has something to do and all that and he alone don't understand. So after both him and Fu arrived there, and Naruto summoned the Shigenami. The Shigenami told him that in order for him to learn everything, he has to bring him at the first. As he teleported Naruto to a strange place, the place looked futuristic as he told Naruto that this was the place before the Sage of Six Path was born into this world. As Naruto was confused, where was all this technology now? It was then that he teleported Naruto and Fu to our office and someone opened the door. So yeah guys, that was basically the last part we left off. You guys can switch across the playlist and check it out for yourself. So let's start this new episode. So Naruto was focused on the door as a knob turned. As two men entered, both of them were in black business suit. As the first man went around the chair and sat down. As Naruto recognized him, he was on the picture frame. Did they found it? The man asked. As the other man brought out a device out of his pocket, pressing some buttons. Yes, they have. But sir, said the man, what if those markings are something special? Dr. Newman said they will grant some kind of special power. Well, we won't know until he does his research, the boss said. And don't worry, June, said the boss as the man is now identified as June. The power source that we have detected in that cave can solve all of our problems. As June's boss face get an excited look as he think about everything that they can do with this new power source that they just found on earth. Just think of the possibilities and unlimited power supplies. All the thing we can solve from that. June sighed as he turned to his boss. I understand Ken, June said. I just hope you're sure about this. The boss is now identified as Ken. Ken walked around his decks as he placed a hand on June's shoulder and I am sure about it. In just a few hours, I will be praised as the man who saved our failing society. And with you as my second in command, the whole world will be ours. With that, the two men left the office as Naruto just stood there watching them, but they couldn't see him. What just happened? asked Fu, as she was confused. What were they talking about? And how can we understand them? 
As Naruto couldn't read the language before, it was the Shinigami is doing so that June and Ten cannot see them as well. That is just a bit of background information about what is going to happen when they find what's hidden in that cave. The Shigenami said, I thought I told you that I was done playing games. I won't answer. No more questions or riddle, Naruto said. And you are receiving them. You just need to be patient, Uzumaki. From now on, the Shigenami will be known as the Reaper. Okay, guys. So, let's get back to the story. The Reaper looked at Naruto. I am sure you see how technology is advanced at this time. But, what they did, it is starting to run out and the government tasked them with a new force to find something that will give them enough energy to proceed with everything. Almost everyone was ready to give up a month ago, thinking that they will lose their current way of life until they found something. Naruto looked around as they left the office and was now standing in front of a massive cave. As Naruto recognized the marking that Ken and Jun was talking about, they were the same symbols that the elemental nations back in his world were using. Fu also noticed that. I don't like where this is going, said Kurama, as he felt a strong hatred to whatever was inside. Komei was also feeling the same thing as he didn't understand. Why was that? As there was a giant gate there and strange machine were hooked up to the gate. They must be trying to open it, thought Naruto as he focused on the gate and the familiar markings. Naruto narrowed his eyes recognizing what exactly the markings were. This was some sort of fuinjutsu and strong one at that. As you can see, they have been trying to open it for a while, said the reaper with a chuckle. Who knows how many mans have tried but they've given up because they couldn't open it. But now one of them has gotten close than ever. As the reaper then pointed, as Naruto saw a middle-aged man in a white coat, dark brown pants and brown shoes. Something tells me that this is that Dr. Newman, Naruto said as he looked at the man. Naruto, look, said Fu, as she pointed towards the gate. As Naruto saw what Fu was looking at, it was a warning. It said, do not attempt to open this gate or it will bring great destruction to the world and end everything around. What lies behind this gate is to be ever locked away. This is your only warning. After reading the warning, everything became clear to Naruto. Just to what happened to this civilization. I see you understand, said the Reaper, as things start to change around them again. As they were at the gate same way, but this time, Ken and Jun was there and Dr. Newman. It's time, stated Ken. The higher ups are getting impatient. So, do it now. Dr. Newman shook his head as he pointed towards the passive gate. Mr. Ken, he said, all the signs here tell me that this will not solve any of our problems. It will just doom us all. Dr. Newman then brought forward a stack of paper that he currently held. From what I've been able to decipher from these symbols, it is, I don't care what it is. Open the damn gate said Ken as he smacked away all the papers. Now open it or else. It was then that two men with armors around their body as they had strange weapon in their hands. They pointed at Dr. Newman. They were behind Ken. If you don't do it my man will just simply kill you here and I'll find someone else to do it. Dr. Newman readjusted his glasses as he looked at the cave. He then looked at June, as he then went into his coat pocket to take out one of the same device that June has taken out in the office, as Naruto found all of this to be interesting. A few minutes later, Dr. Newman looked up from his device as he walked up to the gate, as the signs on the gate were glowing, as so was the device. It was then that the seals around the gate started to fade away, as the gate opened up. Ken motioned for his man to go inside and investigate. A group of five slowly walked forward while Dr. Newman stepped back. As Ken had a smile on his face, this was everything that he had worked for and now it was right in front of him. He was broken out of his thoughts as scream was heard from inside. Before he can think about this, 
The ground beneath him started to shake. What is this? He asked as he looked towards the gate. As massive tails shoot out, grabbing most of his mans. Newman screamed Ken as he tried to find the doctor as everyone in the cave tried to escape. But he couldn't find a trace of the doctor, meaning that he has most likely left, making Ken growl in anger. Ken screamed out June. We need to get out of here now. Ken growled at him. I am not leaving. This is my dream. And I will not die until I see this world change for the better. Before June could respond, a tail came at Ken. But June pushed him out of the way as the tail grabbed June and pulled him inside. Ken could only watch with wide eyes as he heard June's screams. But June just stood there as a tail came at him and wrapped around him and pulled him inside as well. But he didn't even move. He just allowed the tail to pull him inside. The earth started to shake violently as lava started to spew out from the ground until the cave finally collapsed. Naruto then saw the reaper bring them somewhere again as they were in the air. As he looked down, but it wasn't a futuristic world that he saw before. Now it was just pure destruction. Sea of lava were everywhere. It looked like the earth itself was going to be destroyed. This is terrible, muttered Fu as she watched everything with wide eyes. I am sure you must know what exactly was sealed inside that cave, said the reaper from behind Fu and Naruto. The Jubi, muttered Naruto. The Jubi, thought Fu, as Komi remains quiet. Correct, said the reaper with a small chuckle. But how, Naruto asked, looking at the reaper with narrow eyes. Just how exactly was the Jubi? seal in that cage in the first place and that dr newman how was he able to disable those seals on the gate that keep it close well said the reaper how the juby got sealed in that cage was simple but how newman managed to decipher those complicated seals that was a bit complicated we have all the time said naruto as he looked at the reaper as fu also looked at the reaper as she wanted to know what was going on. The Reaper then continued. The Jubi was a different beast than you know it today. Different? replied Naruto as he raised the eyebrow. Different how? For once, it actually had a thought process, said the Reaper, with humor in his tone. Just like when it learned. To think once again when the sage sealed it in himself. Don't beat around the bush, said Naruto. Just what exactly was a Jobe before it turned what it is today? The Reaper shrugged slightly. It was one of us. Naruto paused when he heard that. He already knew what the Reaper was referring to when he said us. But for the Jobe to have been once a god? Something happened to make the Jobe become what it is today, isn't it? asked Naruto as he looked at the reaper. Something tells me that he didn't want to play along with the rest of you. You're almost correct, said the reaper. I for one didn't care what the Joby did. The others though, they didn't share my thoughts. And you are correct. There are certain rules that we need to follow. Of course, I tend to bend them at most times, said the reaper with another chuckle. But the others didn't share my sentiment. Seeing the Jubi breaking every single rule and even trespassing into the dimension of the other gods, they became pissed. And what did they do? They took the Jubi's rational thoughts and turned it into nothing more than a beast. No, even lower than that, even a beast have some rational thoughts, even if there is just instinct. Naruto then turned back to the destruction as he rolled his eyes, so after taking away the Jubi's, Rational thinking, they seal it away? Didn't it ever occur to them that something like this may happen? The Reaper shrugged. I am not like the others. I wasn't there when they did this because I didn't care. Besides, the Reaper shrugged for like the 20th time. Because of their actions, many more people died, which meant more souls for my collection. It was a good situation for me, even though I didn't lift a finger. Naruto chuckled slightly at that, so then the rest is history I suppose. 
The Jew be roaming the earth until the sage seal it in himself. The reaper nod. Yes, and all records of what this was all about were lost. Even with their technology, humanity couldn't put one scratch on the jubi, and life how it once was, was forgotten. As for your other question, said the reaper, the gods had a plan for human to unlock a power in themselves that they didn't even know they had. Chakra, whispered Naruto, exactly, said the reaper. I don't know what God was thinking when he did this, but it was meant to happen one day. But I wasn't interested of what his plan was or still is, so I didn't pay too much attention to it. But Newman, that simple scientist, played a very important role in human development in years later. Because he could use chakra, said Naruto as realization sank in, that would explain how he disabled the foe in jutsu. Combined with the fact that he must was a genius, that he could understand some of the writing on the cave, he was able to disable the seals. The reaper nodded. Yes, I don't know why it was him out of all the human race, but the fact still remains that he created two of the most shocking change in history. Two, Naruto asked. Yes, one of them was accidentally released in the Jubei. And even then, it wasn't his fault. Rather, it had been that Ken person. But what was the other one? Naruto said. That simple Dr. Newman became the father of him. As Naruto turned his head to the side to see the Sage of Six Path, Dr. Newman was my father, said the Sage. Naruto simply glanced at the Sage as he looked him directly into his Renegon. I didn't think that he would actually tell him all that happened in the past, said the sage as he looked at the reaper. The reaper stayed silent, not bothering to respond. So it was true then, muttered Naruto, catching the sage's attention. Fu for her part, just stood there watching everything that happened in front of her. Yes, it was true, said the sage. Humanity unleashed a being that nearly wiped them out. Who knows if it wasn't for certain things. What would have become of the human race? We might not even be here today. I take it that one of those countermeasures was you, said Naruto as he looked at the sage. Yes, you're correct, said the sage. Of course, I didn't complete my purpose. Well, not entirely at least. Peace, said Naruto in a whisper, having guessed what saying the sage failed to do. Yes, the sage said with a nod. Controlling the Jubi's power and showing humans how to unlock that power within them. I succeed in the both of those tasks, but the third one, to bring peace to the human race, I fail at that. You always been bitter about that, said the Reaper, but the sage didn't comment on that. Like I have already told you, Uzumaki, I was hoping for my sons to accomplish that, what I couldn't, but that failed as well causing my descendant to bring more hatred to the world and now there is you and like I already told you I am not interested in peace said Naruto with a shake of his head everything that I have done to this point what I am planning on doing is to show you that it is the exact opposite of what you want I have already told you this but peace can be brought in many different ways said the sage not only that because of the circumstances that have been created, my remaining descendants have been united through you, and you were responsible for that as well, said the sage as he looked at the reaper. You should be thanking the Uchiha for that, said the reaper. Madara, said Naruto, as he remember that Madara told Mito what exactly was going to happen with Uzo, making Kurama told him, and now they're in this situation. What exactly is Madara's motive to do what he did, asked Naruto. I find it hard to believe that he did all of this just to have revenge on the Uchiha clan for abandoning him. In a way, it's the same as a person for Tobi, said the sage. Madara lost everything in the clan war. All of his brothers were killed. And what did they die for? Nothing. Eventually, himself started to act like everyone. 
just trying to survive and protect the remainder of his clan. That is until him and Hoshirama create the village that he wanted to destroy, named Konoha, and they created peace in the world. But then he saw the reality of things. That peace was not a solution. It just delayed the cycle of hatred and war. So he decided to take a different route from Hoshirama. That was until he found out that you would stop him from doing this. What? said Naruto. Since when would I? This is just one of the many paths that you could have taken, said the sage as he looked at Naruto. If you had stayed on your original path, you would have stopped Madara plans. I see, said Naruto. Now it is your path to walk in this role and put an end to all of it. That is your role, said the sage as he walked up to Naruto. But of course, things will come in your way and try to stop you. One greater than the next. I am sure you know what I am talking about, said the sage. Naruto simply nodded at that, thinking about Dark Naruto. There is just one more thing to add in all of this, said the sage as he then paused. As a smile came on his lip, it's really good to see you again, Kurama, Komi. Said the Jews appear behind their respective hosts. Komi? said Fu as she saw her biju out of the seal and in the real world. Wait, is this the real world or just an illusion? She thought to herself. Kurama chuckled as he looked at his creator. It sure has been a while, old man. Komi stayed quiet as he simply looked at the old man. Well, you two have grown, said the sage, smile still on his face. I take it that the rest of your brothers and sisters are fine as well. Kurama simply nodded. That's good to hear the sage said as he focused his direction back to Naruto. Now there is just one more thing you need to know before you focus on your path and continue with all of this. Naruto raised an eyebrow but didn't say anything. Is he going to tell him that? Thought the reaper as he watched all of this. You already knew who my father was said the sage. I am not sure why he was chosen to be my father or why he was the first human to be able to effectively use chakra like he did. But that is how it is and I should tell you though, he died while trying to find a way to stop the Jubi. It was at that time that I acquired these eyes, said the sage as he told Naruto a story about him visiting his father's grave and all of the raw emotions he awakened these eyes. The next morning when I woke up, I had these ring pattern eyes. My mother and I had to leave our home. Everyone thought that I was cursed by the Jobe. Ridiculous, isn't it? But at that time, people would turn to things that they couldn't respond with hatred and anger. We were constantly on the move afterwards. Really, if it wasn't for my mother, I would have gone crazy. It was that time when I realized that my new eyes were a special gift where I was able to wield power that human could not. And it wasn't long before I came the person that I am today. And the rest is history. And I stopped the Jubi in the only way I could. And that was to seal it. But instead of sealing it in a way in a cave, I decided to seal it in myself. And you already know what happened afterwards. Naruto just stood there absorbing everything that he was told. Now everything made sense, he had all the pieces of the puzzle. That is what he wanted all along. The last thing you need to know will be the most shocking to you. What is that? Naruto asked. The reason why you were chosen. It's all very simple. It's the reason as why you're the completion of what I started. It's also one of the reasons why I named you my true successor as well. It's because you're my reincarnation. But guys, gonna be end this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification so you post it. Remember to share to all of your friends on your social media platform. And also go ahead and check out Uchi and Naruto, the final episode that I posted on this channel. And I also post a new episode on Anime King of What If Naruto went missing for 4 years and I also post a new episode of what if Naruto was trained to be a mercenary so go ahead and check that out as well 
and thank you all again for enjoying the video and remember to comment down below and tell me if you're new i'll be replying back to all of you so without further ado i'm all for now guys peace till tomorrow